So I've been sent an email asking to register for a COVID-19 vaccination. Trouble is, the email is a scam. In this video, I'm going to talk you through what the email looks like, what to look out for so you can prevent yourself being scammed, and what to do if you've clicked through and shared your personal details. Hi, my name's Naomi from Skin Dad. Welcome back to the channel. Skin Dad is a destination online where every penny counts. Whether you're looking to save money on your bills, save for a rainy day, or find ways to up your income, Skin Dad has the answer. But before we go any further, please subscribe, turn on notifications so you'll know when we share the next video, which could quite possibly put more money in your pocket. So I'm gonna show you the email in just a moment to see what comes through, the type of things to look out for, and what happens if you click the link. Um, just wanted to reiterate that the NHS have put warnings out that there are a number of these emails and text messages that are going out that are scams. The NHS will never ask you to pay for a vaccine. They are free. They don't need your bank details to verify who you are. So don't think about sharing them. The NHS or nurses, they're not going to turn up at your home to do a vaccination. You're going to need to go for an appointment elsewhere. So if somebody knocks on your door, offering to vaccinate you, huge, huge alarm bells, and you, you need to look to call the police. Also, you don't need to send in any documents to confirm who you are. So if they're asking for copies of your bank statements or a copy of your passport or driving license to confirm your identity, don't send it again, that's an issue. So let's take a look at what this email looks like and some of the things that should jump out at you, which will help you with, with this scam, but will also help you with any other email scams that comes through, just to get yourself to have a think before you start clicking anything. So Ricky received this email the other day and he knew immediately that it was a scam. There are quite a few things that jump out that there's an issue. Um, I believe he forwarded it onto Action Fraud so they were aware of the, the links and the email sender so they could take action. But he also forwarded it to me so I could have a look. I haven't had one yet, so I wanted to see. Now I can talk you through some of the things here that are the issue. So you know when you get some of these emails, if you're not quite sure, you think it might be too good to be true, you can pick out these kind of glaring errors that when you see them, you know what they are. So the first thing to look at is who the email is from. Now, when you actually have this in your email service, you might just see that it says NHS National Health Service or similar or from vaccination service and it was something along those lines. If you click into it or you forward that email on, you will then see the actual email address from where it's come from. This is not a, an English UK email address straight away. That's known that that is then a scam. But looking onto the subject itself, there's differences here with um, capital letters, you're missing spaces, and there's also, it just stops, which is a, an issue, but then there's also, and one more item has been dispatched. I mean, nothing would be dispatched, has been dispatched. It's not relevant to this, so unless they've accidentally left that in there. The next thing to look for is um, in the subject of dear. So they've addressed this to an email address rather than to anybody in particular. Now, one of the things that you can really look for when an email comes in is that they're either going to be dear sir, dear customer, dear your email address. Um, they, a legitimate email will refer to you as Mr. Miss, your, your actual name or your surname. So they will have that information about you. This hasn't got it. They've just pulled that from other places. Now, as you look down the email, it looks like it's it's giving you information about what's happened, that you've been selected. Um, so it's kind of drawing you in, thinking that, that things are safe, showing you what you need to do, that you need to be booking these appointments and that you can use this service to do it. But then it starts to um, draw on uh, some kind of panic as you come down the email. So you can see here it's saying, you are required to reply to this invitation within 12 hours of this notification. Now this is where scammers try to use um, a tactic to make you panic and make you think you need to act fast. Now you don't need to act fast in these situations. You can stop and, and wait to do it. You can also see here where they've capitalized accept to make you want to click it quicker because it's making it more urgent. You can see if I hover over this email address, 
you can see the link here is taking you to IP-160 and more numbers with the end of it saying NHS online. Now, if you wanted to go to the NHS site or to a booking site, it's either going to be on the NHS website or on the government website, not on a random link like that. Now, again, if I hover over the other one, it comes up. Now that looks exactly the same as the one above it. So it doesn't matter whether you click accept or you click decline. Both of those websites will take you to the same page. Again, another reason to, to realize it's not legitimate. I mean, very luckily for this is that this has actually been uh, shut down already. So within just a matter of days, this only came through just a couple of days ago. Um, but within that time, uh, action's been taken to get these websites shut down. So they're not able to affect anybody else. But it, it's clear that they, they put information into here. It doesn't look like there's any too many typos from having a quick browse through it. But there still is ways that you can work out that these things aren't real. And again, if you're not sure, contact your GP's office and ask them because they're the ones that hold the, the data and the details about you. Um, again, if you get one of these, you're able to report it. So just some points there that's worth kind of picking out and, and remembering to think about. When you get an email in, have a look at who it's from. Does it look like it's meant to be from the person? So if the NHS has emailed you, is it an NHS email address? Um, if it's from the government, does it have gov.uk in the title? Just kind of have that sense check. Does it look right or not? Also, if you're not too sure, don't click any of the links. Even if it's the real company, either go directly to their website or go to Google or your own preferred search engine and search for them and then log in in that way. If they have sent you an email, then whatever you need to be doing, you'll be able to log into your account and take that action. You won't just have to click the link in the email. One thing the scammers do is they create a panic and that is how they, they get people to give up their personal details and how people lose money. So try and take kind of a rational thought about these things. Slow down. Try not to feel rushed or pressurised into clicking anything or giving out information. If necessary, move away from your phone or your, your laptop, however you're looking at your emails or the text message. Step away, have a think for a minute. Does this really feel right? If necessary, call the company. Double check with them. They won't mind you checking. Call family and friends. I know in, um, in the Skint Dad community group that we run on Facebook, lots of people put in examples of scam emails they get or scam text messages and, and just to double check is this a scam or is this legit and other people can go and say yep that's a scam this is what you're looking at and it's just that extra peace of mind knowing that what you're looking at isn't real and i think having that that helping hand or that, that second pre second pair of fresh eyes can help you if you receive a scam email and you know it's a scam you can forward it on to um, report at phishing.gov.uk. That's phishing with a PH um, rather than kind of trying to catch a fish. Um, so report at phishing.gov.uk. Now that will go through to Action Fraud. They'll send you an email confirming they've received it, but you won't get any other communication afterwards. Now what they'll look to do with that information is try and shut down the email address, shut down any websites and to, to prevent this happening from other people so you can you can really help others to to not be scammed as well if you've clicked a link and you have shared information you need to report it straight away i've put a link down below to action fraud where you can start to fill in some information to get it reported if you shared any bank account details please contact your bank straight away let them know what happened and they can look to put a, a close down and a hold on your bank for the fraud as well so I hope you found that useful to try and spot what to look out for. If you get an email you're not expecting that you think might be a scam, just take a little bit of time to have a think before you click through or you rush to enter any information if you're unsure. And hopefully it will stop you and, and others and people that you love from being scammed.